All right, let's say you have another laptop that's laying up in the closet and you're trying to put Windows 11 on it. You want it to run faster. It came with Windows 8. You know, this right here, I think it's the i5-4200U, 12 gigs of RAM. It's a real nice touchscreen laptop. Um, it's not a, a full 360, but it, I mean, this is a nice laptop. This can be a nice, what I like to use it for is a MediaPlex server. So I'm going to go through in this video and show you how you can bypass this. Uh, this right here, you're, I'm getting this error here because of the TMP. Uh, this uh, BIOS is not TMP certified, so it won't install Windows 11, but we're going to bypass that today. So we're only going to need two things. You're going to need a program Rufus. I've talked about Rufus before in some other videos I've done. So you're going to need Rufus and, of course, your thumb drive. So as you see here, I have the thumb drive that I, that I created. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to format this. I'm going to format that which I also already have the ISO file. It's behind this right here. So we already just, so we formatted it. That's done and over with. So now here's the ISO file. We can close that out. So now what we're going to do, we're going to run Rufus. All right, so now we got to find the, you know, put this uh, uh, ISO in here. I don't think we can just copy, can we? Oh, yep, we can. So you can just drag it over or you just hit the select button and you find out where it was. So it was on my desktop and it was right here. So now we have it. So what do we do? So we can label this. We can make this our own, you know, volume label. Um, let's put um, September 18, 2024, because that's today's date, September 18, 2024. And then, of course, NTFS, you can do your own cluster size, quick format, create extended label, how many times you want to pass, and then we hit start. Now, once you hit start, here's that requirement right here. Here's what I was talking about. So this is the reason why that laptop would not uh, boot up. So we're going to uh, make sure that it's enabled. Require, uh, remove the requirements for the 4 gig uh, RAM and secure boot and TP, uh, I think I said TMP earlier, uh, TPM 2.0. Uh, we're also going to remove the requirements for the uh, the online uh, Microsoft. So that's what we're going to do. You can disable this other stuff if you want. I'm going to actually run Chris Titus's tool through everything. So we're just going to hit OK. Warning all data. OK. So now it's going to create our um, image for us uh, onto the flash drive. All right, so I just turned it on, and now we're going to go through the normal progress, and I'm going to show you that it actually works. You know, that's some of the things with me. I am I like to show things that actually work and go through step by step. Sometimes my videos are a little bit long. Even if you don't like it, you don't want to give me a like up. I mean, if you dislike it because you either already know or you didn't benefit from this, then they put me a shit emoji down in the comments. And now it's going to install. So as soon as it, I mean, if this is all that you need at the video, there you go. You're done. All right. Now, as you see, we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll pick it up whenever I'm logging in and I get to the account login screen. Okay. So once you go through your uh, setup steps, you will not be asked for your uh, key gen. You will have to activate Windows once you restart. So when you get here, don't you don't have to log into Windows. Just go ahead and say, I uh, I don't have internet. Okay, so I got my network drivers. I got my display drivers. Got everything in here. So right now we're at 163 processes doing this right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run PowerShell and get Chris Titus in here. Let Chris Titus do some workload for me. All right, so I got everything installed, everything ready to go. Just boot on in. And then I'm going to come here first. We're going to go to Task Manager. 
Go ahead and go to processes. Look at that. 79, 80. Might jump up to like 84. Look at that. 79 back down. 4%. Uh, I mean, this thing is is like literally stripped down. 77. So we're doing really, really good. So this is going to be the perfect, perfect media server for me. So uh, again, if you don't know what Plex Media Server is, go look it up. Uh, it's really nice to have. I like it. But anyways, if you like this type of content and um, and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, I do this and I do product reviews. Uh, I did already set up virtual RAM and my my power, you know, where I took everything off. Just made things where everything runs a lot smoother. This is an older laptop. I mean, heck, I'm what? Oh, man. Somewhere around 2000. 15 2016 so almost what 11 years old something like that 10 11 years old but anyways you like this type of content and you like product reviews and you like honest reviews and not ones that are bought by people that these companies are sending to go ahead and like and subscribe if you don't even like my content man don't just give me a thumbs down go ahead and put that shit emoji down there in the comment for me let me know i'm doing shitty i'm thomas tomology i'll catch you in the next one